Winston Johnson, you know what I mean? Um, it's a tradition here in the here in the war room. We have to put you through these rapid fire questions. But uh Okay. <laughs> once again, um these rapid fire questions are brought to you by Inverse, you know what I mean? Get your start your artistic business here, you in the dig, your solutions for your social media and your merchandising. <sighs> It's all right here, Interverse.io. Y'all know what it is, but once again, we about to put you through these rapid fire questions. Let's get in. I'm going to give you three options, you know what I mean? All I need is one, Menace and Johnson. You in the dig? We're going to start off light, you know what I mean? Because I know you're over there in LA, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, the uh, We know the weather's good. You know what I mean? We know the women's good, but we we also know the weed is good. Now, which one of these uh, strains uh, you must partake in the weed, must partake in the get that the L.A. gas over there. So if you see, look up on the screen right there and you see the cookies. Are you dealing with the London pound cake? Which is, uh, I think it's a, a, a pretty heavy indica. Not feeling the flavor. Okay. Never had, um, the che- never had the cheetah piss. You got the gelati on the bottom. You got my favorite right there, right here, the cereal milk. Or um, the Gary okay. Payton. What is your go-to, Medicine Johnson? Uh, out of everything that you said that I'm familiar with, the gelato. Like high grade, though. Like gelato 41 or something like that. No. All right. Okay. That's what's good. Okay. So that's what you uh, are rocking with. You know what I mean? Okay. And um, we're going to go to this next question right here. If you look up on the screen, um, I know. So you've been familiar with the, the, the underground LA hip hop scene for a minute. You know what I mean? And um, when we look at New York, you know what I mean? The, the different boroughs and whatnot. There's different, like, uh, I would say Brooklyn. Ak Reacher, you would say Brooklyn has the, 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 probably the, the best MCs or uh, the, the most MCs coming out of Brooklyn, the most notable MCs. Would you say that, Ak Reacher? Um, <laughs> oh, I wouldn't say that. Come on, you biased now. Okay, all right. Nah, all right. I wouldn't say that. I ain't gonna lie. We gonna do all throughout the... I wouldn't say that because Queens got a couple. The Bronx got... Harlem even got a couple. I'm talking per capita act. You know what I mean? Like I, That's what I'm saying. I'm talking about from... Oh, you talking about now? I'm talking about throughout the, the, the history of hip-hop, my nigga. Uh... Brooklyn. All right, I, I guess. I guess. If you want to do that, I guess. All right. So with that being said, we never really say, you know what I mean, put that with L.A. Because L.A. got hoods and boroughs just the same like New York. You know what I mean? So uh, starting off, you know what I mean, Medicine Johnson, what is your opinion? Where are the best MCs? Who, they, who, like, where does hip-hop really live in L.A.? Is it in Long Beach? Is it in Compton? Or is it in Inglewood? Where are the best MCs in LA? Like per capita. Damn, you know what? Um I'm gonna have to say Inglewood right now, just just based on what I'm feeling. But I know Compton is crazy. I mean, you know, Drake. Drake came out of Compton and you know, I mean it's 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 a tough choice. It's a tough choice. Uh, you know, uh Kendrick's out of Compton, so uh, it's, it's yeah, man. You know, I would throw both of them in there, but if I have to pick one, uh, I would say Compton. Compton, okay. Compton, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would go with that. All right, that's what's up. Um, being a, a LA dude, what is your what is your um choice of kicks? Are you going with the Stan Smiths? Are you going with the Chuck Taylors? Are you going with the Air Force One Lows? 
Man, you know what? Right now in my current state, Air Force One lows. For sure, right now. That's what's up. That's what's I'm up. I'm surprised. Oh, yeah? <laughs> That's something that somebody from New York would have picked. I expect the Cali brother to pick the Chucks. Because I actually work with a Cali dude. Well, yeah, well, you know, I still, I still, I still rep the time. I hear you. you no. Know. Because y'all a- like you. It's always New York and Cali when it comes to fashion anyway. Yeah, this is true. And, and when it comes to sneakers, because we the only two states in the country with a flight club. He yes, know what sir. flight club is. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> New York and Cali is the only ones. All right. Um... Mocha only got the tour popping, you know what I mean? North of the border side, you know what I mean? Vancouver, Calgary, Winnipeg, but it's cold in Winnipeg and you need a good jacket, you know what I mean? Medicine Jack, Medicine Johnson, what jacket are you rocking with? Um, all these jackets are Canadian. We'll start off with the Moose Knuckles, you know what I mean? Would you rock the Moose Knuckles? Or are you going with everybody's favorite, the North Face? or the Canada Goose? Look, I'm going with the Canada Goose just for the visual swag, but number one, I could freak too. Uh, but I'll, I'll say just just off of just off of rip, uh, number three. The, the Canada Goose, yeah. Moose Knuckle, Moose Canada Knuckle go in over here. Moose oh, Knuckle yeah. is the, yeah, Moose Knuckle is, the, is that jacket right now. That I mean, but North Face always, uh, always, always is strong. You, you can't go, <laughs> can't go wrong with the North Face. Um, what is the sports icon of LA? Is oh, it the shit. Lakers? Is it the Lakers jersey? Is it the uh, the Dodgers iconic logo and the cap? Or is it the 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 new up and coming Clippers City jersey? Um, damn, you know, it is, it's a tough one between the Lakers. That L.A. Dodgers hat is fucking fine. That, that, I know, that, I had to put that, that on. L.A., yo, I gotta get that. That, I ain't going for it. That shit is fucking Dodgers, fine. Right? Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's, the, yeah, the Dodgers represent L.A. for sure at the top of the list. And then I would say, like, right next to it would be the, the Lakers, you know, uh, you know, cause that that's 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 you know, it just it just depends on how, how the scoreboard and everything is looking. But you know, I'm a Laker fan fan, but I'm also a Dodger head, so I'll definitely say that LA Dodgers is 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 definitely the look, the face. You know what I mean Cool. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. All right, you know what I mean? Um so we still you still doing that tour with Mocha only, you know what I mean? And of course, one of the perks is that they're giving you tickets to the Canadian Football League games and shit like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> which one of these jerseys, which one of these Canadian football jerseys are you rocking with? Are you rocking with my hometown, the black and yellow Hamilton Tiger Cats, you know what I mean? Or are you going with the Toronto Argonauts on the bottom here or to the far uh far right number 14 the ottawa red blacks look i'm gonna say the hamilton tiger cats is that correct yeah i'm gonna say that because first of all i'm rocking with y'all and y'all rocking with me and i appreciate ah, that. ah, that's, that's real recognized real off rip on uh, uh you know you know what i'm saying I'm, and then I'm gonna say also in my defense, like I'm not I'm not super up on 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 that on that side of the planet, but I say I rock with number one because we keeping it 100. So yeah, man, that's 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 what I'm gonna go with the black and the gold all day. Indeed. Me too, Indeed. me too, me too. And I would have freaked that shit too. Matter of fact, steals. How much that joint cost, man? <laughs> I, I think they go like 60 70 bucks and don't that that's one of the weaker jerseys that's one of the weaker uh, oh okay okay yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, 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 we talk I, on the back end I, I, I like the old school tie cat jerseys bro but uh i digress let's get into this next question 
I mean, we get into some serious matters right there. One of my favorite, my favorite parts of the, the, the rapid fire questions is the food. I mean, uh, I want to know about the food, yeah, cause yeah, LA got some food. You know what I mean? But I ain't get everything up on here. But we got three options. We got three options. You know what I mean? We got Fat Burger. We got your various LA taco truck. You know what I mean? Um, which I would love to try a LA uh, 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 a taco, infamous taco truck stand. And um, last but not least, In and Out Burger. If um I was to come in to LA, what is the first uh place you would uh recommend me to uh, uh partake of? Um, I had to go with number two, LA tacos. You know what I'm saying? Um, first of all, they the only tacos on the list. I mean, if it was three different burgers, I would say. I would say in and out first, but out of the three, I, I'm definitely gonna have to go with 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 the taco truck. Get down for sure. All right, if there was a third burger on there, what's another uh, famous LA burger spot that's not really everywhere else in the country? Oh shit! Uh, right now, you know, there's there's the habit, and I'm feeling that, and that's that's pretty good. That's like a, a level just slightly above in and out but in and out don't quit their recipe is consistent as fuck and fat burger you feel me you you can never fail after a, a bleasy so <laughs> um, <laughs> but i'll say uh you know like out of all those burger joints you know just 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 growing up on fat burger and in and out i would uh definitely stay in and out if it was three, if it, it was if it was up between three different burgers, but since it's not, I'm you don't like Water Burger. On on the what? Uh, do y'all got Water Burger out there? You know we do, but I haven't I haven't tried that yet. I heard it's good in Texas. They got it, and all my Texas brothers always tell me that. I gotta check that out. I, I'm 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 definitely a burger. I dude. heard it started over there. So, uh, I mean, I, I I've. I've heard of it, but I don't think I, I've had one of those yet. So. Okay. All right. Okay. We're going to go to the next question. This is going to be a toughie for you. But we're going to see your uh, Canadian hip-hop knowledge right quick. Um, which one of these Canadian hip-hop icons are you familiar with? Cardinal Official. Maestro Fresh West in the middle there with the burgundy ensemble and last but not least socrates man i'm familiar with cardinal and socrates it's been a minute since since i've gone through that catalog but at the top of the two i would say cardinal official for sure indeed indeed okay 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 we coming back home with it you know what i mean back to la um who's the first L.A. hip-hop icon that deserves a statue in L.A.? Uh, is it Ice Cube, Snoop Dogg, or Dr. Dre? Hmm. Oh, man. They're all equally great. But I'll have to go with the OG, Dr. Dre, first. Just, just you know, real recognize real. Toward the elders that they paved the way, I would have to say, I'd have to say Dr. Dre. Yeah. Indeed. Okay. Good choice. Good choice. Um, concluding our uh, to our last question of our rapid fire questions, which is usually the hardest. You know what I mean, and usually our most surprising. But um, we're going to the boxing uh, foray. Actually, I'm going to ask you a couple questions in this boxing. Um, in this boxing topic. Um, before we get to this last question, I want to ask you, uh, since you, you're, you're, you're in L.A., there was a fight this weekend. Uh, there was a fight Sunday in L.A. Uh, with Javante Tank Davis against uh, a Mexican uh, by the name of Isaac Cruz, Isaac Cruz. Okay. Um, how was the vibes in L.A.? Uh, 
was it was there any residual vibes in the city from that fight or was it just at the fight i I think it was just at the fight because i was actually out and about um and i didn't i didn't see any, any any reaction like that so i think it was just at the show which is kind of surprising because usually out here you'll you'll get a reaction right away so okay fair enough fair enough um with that being said we're gonna get to this last question and um in the box once again in the box of foray and i want to ask you medicine johnson who do you believe or who do you perceive to be the face of boxing right now um first first and foremost we have deontay wilder we also have the gypsy king tyson fury and then last but not least of course we have saul canelo alvarez uh in, in your opinion which one of these guys is the face of boxing deontay Ooh. even with those two consecutive losses you still got him being the face hurt, of boxing. Man. he's that from america <laughs> he is from fucking america jack he is that's yo you my yo you in the all-star game oh my, number one the only one bro i respect you so much for that bro. you know what i mean like when i come to like nah nah stills we gonna talk about it all the canadians go with fury you bring my mans on here and my man picked the right man salute bro <laughs> 